If you've been even adjacent to the math and computing space in the past 10 years, you've probably heard the term machine learning, often by someone who wants to sound smart and refuses to explain what they mean. I'm not like that though, so welcome to Machine Learning Made Easy, the series where we explore how machine learning can help you with your analysis and predictions. This series expects you to have little to no experience with machine learning, because the fact of the matter is, you don't have to be a data scientist to take advantage of machine learning tools, despite what others might tell you. In this video, I'm going to give you a high-level overview of what machine learning is and establish some important vocabulary, like training and testing sets, overfitting and underfitting. If these terms mean nothing to you, you're in the right place. If you're already conceptually familiar, feel free to skip ahead to a demo or stick around for a refresher. With all that out of the way, let's get started. What do we use machine learning for? Machine learning is very helpful in questions of classifying inputs or predicting responses. For example, is this email spam? Does this nature footage contain a bear? And based on the data from my fitness tracker, am I walking a lot or just talking with my hands? And the classification questions it's best for are ones where there isn't an existing formula, or we don't want to use it. Is this number even or odd is a terrible machine learning question because we can just divide the number by two and see if there's a remainder. It would be a massive waste of resources to use a machine learning model to solve that problem. Is this a picture of a cat is a better machine learning question because there isn't a cat formula. There are a bunch of features of an image that when we see it, we go, yeah, that's a cat, but there isn't a mathematical definition of a cat picture. What is machine learning? The core of machine learning is about training a computer to classify new inputs or predict new outputs based on existing inputs and outputs. It's sort of like how you would teach a small child. If the child had never interacted with the outside world, what a cat is. You would show them things that are cats and are not cats until eventually they had a strong enough working definition of what a cat is to identify a cat themselves. With a computer, the premise is the same. You give it examples in the form of data points, in the case of a cat classifier, images labeled as having cats or no cats, and find a model that classifies the data with a high degree of accuracy. For both the toddler and the computer, how they learn to recognize cats is through recognizing features. They begin to notice patterns of what cats look like, Things like having pointy ears, whiskers, paws. This is why you need an existing data set to get started in machine learning. In order to train the computer to classify or predict, you need to give it examples of correct classifications or predictions. Training and testing sets, how to train your model. However, it's very important that you don't train the model on your entire data set. Otherwise, you'll have no idea how effective your model actually is. It would be like giving someone with a photographic memory a practice quiz and answer key, and then the actual quiz is identical to the practice. Of course they're going to get every question right. They've seen the answers. Instead, you want to train the model on most of the data set, a training set as it were, but hold some of the data aside as a testing set. That way you can see how effective your model is by showing new inputs and seeing how many outputs it gets right. And we can only know if it's getting the outputs right if the data is pre-labeled. Overfitting and underfitting, when things go wrong. Often, when machine learning models fail to identify testing data correctly, the model is overfit or underfit to the training data. Let's take a look at a graph of data that's been categorized into two categories. Just looking at the distribution, we know our model should look something like this. But an overfitted model might look like this. Even though this model may look more accurate, it's more likely to categorize new observations incorrectly. It's overtrained on the training data. At the same time, we don't want to go too far in the other direction and underfit our model. If we change the model to look like this, we'll get some observations correct, but there'll be a fair amount of data that will be miscategorized. We need a model that fits just right. Shortcomings of machine learning. Machine learning is incredibly helpful, but it isn't perfect. First of all, the models are as biased as the input data provided. It can be easy to think that since this is a computer making decisions, it's functioning outside petty human shortcomings like having preferences or playing favorites. But machine learning models always reflect their training data and data labels, 
which are often annotated by humans, and sometimes the data is just previous human decisions. Machine learning models aren't objective, but instead inherently reflect previous human decisions. A notable example was how in 2018, a major tech company scrapped its proposed resume filtering machine learning model because it rejected resumes that identified the applicant as female. Turns out the majority of the passing resumes in the training set were of men, so the model that fit the training data favored male resumes. Secondly, there is no model that correctly predicts 100% of data points. To quote the popular statistics aphorism, all models are wrong, but some are useful. There will always be outliers. And when your machine learning algorithm works with, say, healthcare data, outliers can cost people their lives. It isn't enough just to have a model with a high degree of accuracy. You have to look into whether it's better to have false negatives or false positives. None of this is to say that we shouldn't use machine learning or machine learning is bad. Instead, it's important that we view machine learning as a tool and not a silver bullet that will solve all of our problems. In summary, machine learning models learn directly from the data without relying on a predetermined equation or formula. We have to start with an existing data set and split it into a training set, the data we'll use to train the model, and a testing set, the data we'll use to see if our model works. We try out different models to find one that fits, one that has a high degree of accuracy on both the training and testing sets. Once our model is found, we can apply it to our new data. It's that simple, because it always works. You never have to troubleshoot anything, ever. But with MATLAB, troubleshooting can be as easy as clicking a few buttons. For more information on using machine learning, check out our documentation linked in the description, or better yet, stick around for a demo. If you're watching this in the Machine Learning Made Easy playlist, it should autoplay the next video. If not, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you in another video.